It definitely looks like Rockstar is working on multiplayer for Grand Theft Auto 6, which might as well at this point be called GTA Online 2. We'll be talking about what we know so far, what Rockstar is doing, and a whole lot more. So let's actually begin with Insider Tez Funds 2 who posted this. He said, I posted this in another thread, but someone said it could be for GTA Online 2. And they said, unrelated to the event week, but I've noticed that Rockstar has been hiring for several job positions in relation to senior product managers specializing in dealing with progression and economy. But the latest position is what piques my interest the most. Online systems designer, progression and economy at Rockstar New England. I'm not really sure what all those job positions are for, but Rockstar is planning something. So obviously we know with the success of Grand Theft Auto Online, Rockstar is going to have some sort of multiplayer for Grand Theft Auto 6. It's just a fact at this point in time. It's so successful they would be shooting themselves in the foot to not do something like that. So let's actually take a look at what the actual posting looks like. Again, you guys can see there it is for Rockstar New England, Online Services, and online systems designer, progression, and economy, all levels. And they say Rockstar Games is looking for talented system designers whose skill set combines technical excellence with a passion for making games. This is a full-time permanent position based out of Rockstar's unique game development studio in Andover, Massachusetts. And what the role does is they create online services for games, including matchmaking, cloud saves, player stats, leaderboards, and more. They design and implement player-centric online systems such as progression, inventory, bounty systems, and more, improve existing features, as well as architect new solutions to help support the development of social club community in the website, and create innovative in-game experiences, including user-generated content. I'll leave a link to that in the description if, number one, any of you guys are interested in taking up the position, but also, number two, what the position itself actually details and what we will ultimately see. So again, Rockstar, it looks like they are going to have a multiplayer that is obviously more towards Grand Theft Auto Online, less like what we saw in GTA 4, because even this one includes matchmaking, cloud saves, player stats, leaderboards, all things we're accustomed to right now, as well as our progression, leveling up our inventory system, our properties and cars, bounty systems, which might be them incorporating something from Red Dead Online, and then obviously developing the social club community and more user-generated content, as well as in-game experiences. Now, what would be really cool is if in the second version of Grand Theft Auto Online, GTA Online 2, you guys could actually have like live events that occur. Fortnite, whether you like it, make fun of it, hate it, can't get enough of it or whatever, they do really cool live content like concerts and big events that happen at one point in time. So that's the sort of stuff that I would love to see happen in GTA Online 2, if we can just call it that right now. And it definitely looks like Rockstar is starting to prepare for something like this, which is just really, really cool. Now, we could speculate all day long, but I think the two things that people are going to be interested in, number one, if we're going to be able to keep our characters, and then number two, if it's going to be available on day one. Now, I think we're going to be able to keep our characters to an extent, meaning we'll be able to like transfer over our profile. But I think we're going to start at level one, and I don't think we're going to have any content. Now, returning and existing players might get some free stuff. They might end up getting, you know, a, a nice little boost, call it like a criminal enterprise starter pack at the very beginning because they've played GTA online for so long. But I don't think you're just going to have all your stuff at the very beginning. I don't think that's what Rockstar wants. And I also don't think it's going to be available on day one, where its multiplayer wasn't available for one month. And same with Red Dead Redemption 2, its multiplayer wasn't available. In fact, they even did a beta before launching it into the full thing. So I could honestly see this playing out the exact same way where it's not available from day one and then Rockstar rolls it out in some sort of beta because as you guys remember, the launch of GTA Online was not great. The servers were completely overwhelmed. Players really couldn't get on and enjoy the content whatsoever. So I think Rockstar has probably learned their lesson this time around and is likely gonna be doing things a little bit different in the future. But anyways, let's move on and let's discuss some more things regarding multiplayer. One of the confirmed actions that players can do in GTA 6 is actually switch side. This was found in a list of other ones like crouch, prone, 
downed self-revive, buddy comms, buddy ping, look behind, surrender, and switch side. And a lot of people were wondering what this is for. Uh, some people said it switches the hand of the weapon that you actually use. So like, for example, if you're taking cover behind a wall and it would make sense for you to have your gun in your left hand or right hand or vice versa, I think that's actually what it could be for. But Tez Funds 2 sort of clarified what this actually might be. He said, that's a mechanic from Red Dead Redemption 2. Basically, expect what you experienced mechanic-wise on RDR2 to be featured in GTA 6. Even that video of them testing picking up an NPC or a player character body for what is seemingly multiplayer is identical to picking up a lassoed player in Red Dead Online. So it looks like that feature will also be returning in GTA Online 2. Now, I don't know if it will return in the form of lassoing, but it wouldn't be shocking, for example, if you could like handcuff someone and that you could like sling them on your back and then carry them somewhere, or throw them in the back of your truck or whatever, and bring them to a different location. That would actually be kind of funny. And yes, he is right. A lot of the mechanics from RDR2 are going to carry over and be featured on GTA 6. Luckily for us, Red Dead Redemption 2 is one of the most fluid and honestly one of the best feeling games of all time as far as the mechanics went. So I'm really excited to see how Rockstar implement that as well as the things that they improve on from Red Dead Redemption 2. I also feel like there will definitely be new mechanics as well, but there's definitely gonna be some like base level stuff that comes back from Red Dead Redemption 2. So I am very, very excited about that. So long story short, Rockstar is 100% going all out on the multiplayer for Grand Theft Auto 6, and it looks like they're gonna take the good from GTA Online, the good from Red Dead Online, and try and make it the best that it can possibly be in whatever version this Grand Theft Auto 6 multiplayer ends up becoming. But like I said, I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below. Or, of course, you can reach out to me on my Facebook page where you can send me messages, photos, videos, and more. What do you think of GTA 6's multiplayer and how do you think it's going to work? Is it going to be available on day one? Is it going to start out in a beta? Are we going to be able to bring over our characters, start from scratch? Again, let me know what you're thinking. If you guys did go and enjoy this video, though, a like rating would, of course, be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the latest GTA and all the Rockstar Games videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work, and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.